Oh, hi there, everyone. I'm your girl, Norlene. It's Sunday morning in the kitchen, and I have for you another of Jamaica's finest cuisine. Welcome, family and friends, to Wim's Kitchen. I'll be using cream cheese, egg, almond extract, sugar. Yeah. And I'll be using cherry pie filling for my topping. Okay, family and friends. So today, my niece, Elise, will be demonstrating how to prepare cherry topping cheesecake just for you. Today, we'll have an interesting video just for you. So if you're new to my channel, go on and press that subscribe button. Subscribe to Wim's Kitchen and turn on your post notification so as soon as I upload a video, you will be notified. So far, guys, she has added two one-pound packs of cream cheese and half cup of sugar. To that, she will add two eggs that she has removed the chalaza from, so has to reduce the rawness in the mixture. She will use the hand mixer at medium high and blend until she gets a nice creamy fluffy consistency. While she's doing that, I will share with you the food for thought. It comes to us from John 6 verse 27. It says, do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him, God the Father has placed his seal of approval. Let's get back to the mixture, guys. To the mixture, she will add a teaspoon of almond extract. Now, she said, guys, you can use vanilla if you so desire, but she just loved the flavor and the smell of the almond. She will then mix that in for about 30 seconds, and then the mixing is all done. She then added the cream cheese mixture to the shortbread ready crust. At this point, guys, I will pause to wish all my viewers and subscribers a very happy, pleasant Mother's Day. Mothers are indeed a very special creation that God has made. And so we pause to wish you happy Mother's Day from Wim's Kitchen. To let it take the shape of the so we got the second one down. She's shimmering it down. So guys, she is all done filling in the shortbread crust with cream cheese filling. Now guys, I just paused to just big her up 100%. She is still in high school, guys, and she is so talented. And so Elise, and to love you and respect your talent straight up. All three were placed in a preheated oven at 375 degrees to bake for 45 minutes. So guys, after 45 minutes, she has tested them yep. and they're almost well, done. And she put them back in yeah, for about five minutes. So after five minutes, all three are looking perfect. Please remember to subscribe to this channel. Press that subscribe button, guys, so you can get more interesting Jamaican and Caribbean dishes right here from Wim's Kitchen. Please give me some likes on this video, guys. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts about this video or suggest any other Jamaican or Caribbean dish that you'd like to see me prepare. After cooling down for about an hour, guys, the lids were placed on the cheesecake and they were placed in the refrigerator to set for about two hours. Now, guys, I'm unable to show you the ending of Elise's video, but I can tell you it did spectacular. Now, guys, I'm doing a topping just for you to see what the final product looks like. And so I'm using the berry medley topping and I use about three quarters of a tin. I then place it in the refrigerator for about an hour and then finish it off with whipped cream. Now guys, I cannot claim to be any whipped cream specialist, but I can tell you the cheesecake was delicious. And so there it is, another of my favorite from my kitchen with the assistance of my beautiful niece Elise to your table. 
Thank you for coming along with me in the kitchen where I did for you another of Jamaica's finest cuisine. I sure hope you'd enjoy the time in the kitchen with us doing this awesome cheesecake Jamaican style. <laughs> 